Leonardo da Vinci was one of the greatest artists of the Renaissance. He was not only a painter but also an inventor, scientist, engineer and writer. Leonardo's artistic skills and intellect were unmatched during his time. He is best known for his ability to blend art and science seamlessly, creating works that were not only aesthetically beautiful, but also scientifically accurate. Leonardo's artistic style was characterized by his meticulous attention to detail, masterful use of light and shadow, and his pursuit of realism. Michelangelo Buonarroti was an Italian sculptor, painter, and architect considered one of the most influential artists of the High Renaissance. He was renowned for his exceptional talent, immense creative energy, and his ability to breathe life into stone through his sculptures. Michelangelo's sculptural works displayed his ability to capture the human form with incredible precision and dynamism. His sculptures often conveyed a sense of strength, power, and dramatic movement. Both Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were highly influential figures during the Renaissance period. They pushed the boundaries of artistic expression and left an indelible mark on the art world. The rivalry between Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo emerged during the Renaissance a period of immense cultural, intellectual, and artistic flourishing in Europe. During the Renaissance, art patronage by wealthy individuals, rulers, and the church played a pivotal role in commissioning and supporting artists. The demand for skilled artists was high, leading to fierce competition among talented individuals to secure prestigious commissions. This competitive environment fostered the rivalry between artists as they vied for recognition and lucrative patronage opportunities. In the late 15th century, Florence was a vibrant center of artistic and intellectual activity. Artists like Leonardo da Vinci thrived in this environment, where they were influenced by the city's rich artistic heritage, including the works of Giotto, Donatello, and Masuccio. Leonardo gained recognition in Florence through his innovative techniques and artistic prowess. In the early 16th century, Rome emerged as the center of the Catholic Church and a hub for artistic commissions. Michelangelo, who had already established his reputation in Florence, received significant patronage from the papacy and worked on prestigious projects such as the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo had different artistic backgrounds and styles, which further fueled their rivalry. Leonardo da Vinci's diverse interests and talent extended beyond art. His extensive knowledge of science, anatomy, and engineering influenced his artistic approach. Leonardo's emphasis on scientific observation and his pursuit of realism set him apart. His ability to capture subtle nuances of expression and to create depth and atmosphere in his paintings contributed to his unique style. Michelangelo, primarily known for his sculptures, brought a powerful and dynamic style to his artwork. His sculptural background heavily influenced his painting technique, resulting in figures with sculptural solidity and anatomical precision. Michelangelo's attention to the human form, muscularity, and emotional intensity defined his artistic style. In this competitive and thriving artistic landscape, the contrasting artistic approaches, skills, and personalities of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo set the stage for their artistic rivalry. At the age of 14, Leonardo began his artistic apprenticeship in the studio of Andrea del Verrocchio, a renowned Florentine artist and sculptor. During his apprenticeship, Leonardo honed his skills by studying classical art, anatomy, perspective, and scientific principles. He acquired a deep understanding of light, shadow, and proportions, which later became hallmark of his artistic style. Leonardo's artistic development was influenced by the artistic atmosphere of Florence during the early Renaissance.
She was exposed to the works of renowned artists such as Fra Filippo Lippi, Sandro Botticelli, and Antonio del Puello. Leonardo studied their techniques, compositions, and innovations, integrating them into his own artistic practice. One of the distinctive aspects of Leonardo's artistic training was his emphasis on direct observation and scientific inquiry. He engaged in meticulous studies of nature, anatomy, and human form, conducting dissections to deepen his understanding of human anatomy. These studies greatly informed his artistic depictions, resulting in anatomically accurate and lifelike portrayals. Leonardo's insatiable curiosity extended beyond art. He conducted scientific investigations, delving into subjects such as geology, botany, engineering, and the study of flight. His scientific explorations and sketches of inventions showcased his multidisciplinary approach and his desire to understand the world comprehensively. At the age of 13, Michelangelo entered an apprenticeship with Domenico Girvantaio, a prominent Florentine painter. Under Girvantaio's guidance, Michelangelo honed his skills in drawing, composition and fresco painting. He also had the opportunity to study and recreate works by renowned artists of the time. During his apprenticeship, Michelangelo's exposure to classical sculpture, particularly ancient Roman and Greek works, left a profound impact on his artistic development. The Medici family, one of the most influential patrons of the arts during the Renaissance, had a significant influence on Michelangelo's early career. Lorenzo de' Medici recognized Michelangelo's talent and provided him with opportunities to study in the Medici gardens and access to the Medici collection of ancient sculptures, exposing him to a wealth of artistic inspiration. Michelangelo was also influenced by the philosophy of Neoplatonism, which emphasized the spiritual and intellectual aspects of human existence. Neoplatonism influenced his artistic vision encouraging the pursuit of ideal beauty and capturing the inner essence of his subjects. Accounts of the rivalry and competitive spirit between Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo provide fascinating insights into the dynamic relationship between these two artistic giants. While there is limited documented evidence of direct confrontations or personal animosity, Historical records and anecdotes suggest a certain level of competition and mutual respect between the two artists. Giorgio Vasari, a Renaissance painter and biographer, wrote The Lives of the Artists in the 16th century, providing valuable insight into the lives and works of artists of the time. In his accounts, Vasari described the competitive nature between Leonardo and Michelangelo, highlighting their contrasting styles and approaches. He mentioned instances where they expressed admiration and critique each other's work. In 1504, both Leonardo and Michelangelo were commissioned to create large-scale frescoes for the Hall of 500 in the Palazzo Vicio Florence Town Hall. This commission further heightened the competition between the two artists as they were working simultaneously on significant projects within the same space. According to historical accounts, in 1504, the Florentine government organized a cartoon contest, inviting artists to submit their designs for a mural depicting the Battle of Cascina. Both Leonardo and Michelangelo participated in this contest, although neither of their final artworks were completed or installed. Nevertheless, their involvement indicates the recognition of their artistic rivalry. Despite the rivalry, there are instances where Leonardo and Michelangelo influenced and inspired each other. Michelangelo was reportedly influenced by Leonardo's innovative techniques, such as fumato, and incorporated them into his own works. Similarly, Leonardo admired Michelangelo's skills in sculpting and considered him a formidable rival. While there is limited documented evidence of direct exchanges of criticism between Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, 
there were notable differences in their artistic philosophies and approaches. Leonardo primarily saw himself as a painter, while Michelangelo considered sculpture as his true passion. Leonardo believed that painting offered the highest expression of artistic creation, allowing for a broader range of colors, atmospheric effects, and the exploration of complex narratives. In contrast, Michelangelo regarded sculptures as a superior art form, emphasizing the physicality and three-dimensionality that it offered. Leonardo's approach to art was rooted in scientific observation and the quest for realism. He sought to depict the world with meticulous accuracy, studying human anatomy, light and shadow, and natural phenomena. In contrast, Michelangelo's work often exhibited idealized and monumental figures, emphasizing the beauty of form and capturing the essence of divine inspiration. Leonardo excelled in creating complex compositions and exploring the spatial relationships within his artworks. He applied his understanding of perspective, depth, and the manipulation of sight to achieve harmonious and balanced compositions. Michelangelo, on the other hand, often focused on the dynamic and powerful poses of his figures, capturing intense emotions and dramatic gestures that conveyed raw human expression. The artistic rivalry between Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, two of the greatest artists of the Renaissance, captivates the imagination and fuels speculation to this day. While there is limited documented evidence of direct confrontations or personal animosity, historical accounts and anecdotes suggested a certain level of competition and mutual respect between the two artists. Both Leonardo and Michelangelo were active during a time of artistic flourishing in Italy and their respective talents and innovative approaches made them the leading figures of their time. Leonardo's masterpieces such as The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa showcase his mastery of composition, perspective and subtle details. Michelangelo's monumental sculptures including the David and the Sistine Chapel ceiling frescoes reveal his extraordinary skill in capturing human form and conveying powerful emotions. While the precise nature and extent of their rivalry may be a subject of speculation, there is no doubt that their competitive spirit, immense talent and groundbreaking contributions shaped the artistic landscape of the Renaissance and continue to inspire and captivate art enthusiasts and scholars to this day. If you find what we do interesting, please subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on.